Are you getting ready for the Praxis Early Childhood Education Exam? That's exam code 5025. My name is Jamie Jo, and I'm a certified teacher and Praxis coach with Study.com. In this video, we'll walk through four sample numbers and operations problems from this exam so that you're confident on test day. Ready? Let's jump in. Problem one, which of the following is the largest three digit number that can be made using the digits four, six, and one? So this is a place value problem, and I would think of it in terms of money. So we have these three numbers to use. Now, would you rather have $400, $600, or $100? Well, I would rather have $600, so I'm going to put that in the hundreds place. Now we've used that one. We have the four or the one to put in the tens place. Would you rather have $10 or $40? Well, I would rather have $40. And then that leaves us with just one to put in the ones place. So our answer would be C641. Problem two. Which of the following will be true if two fractions are compared using unlike wholes? So let's just use the examples of comparing one half to three fifths. Now I know these have unlike wholes because the whole part of the fraction, as a reminder, is the denominator. And the numerator is the number of parts we have of that whole. So in this case, we're comparing two different wholes because two and five are different. So let's read through our answer choices here. The first one, a common denominator must be used. The fraction with the greater numerator will be larger. The fraction with the greater denominator will be larger. Or the fractions are equal. Now if I were to test out the second, third, or fourth options here, I would look at my fraction examples and think, well, I can't compare these because they have different denominators. They have different holes. I don't know if this is going to be larger or if this will be larger or if they will be equal because I have to find a common denominator before I can compare any fraction. So the answer is the first one. Problem three, which of the following represents 23 fourths? Is it three 23rds, five and three 22nds, five and three fourths, or two and three fourths? So a quick thing to note about this fraction that they give us is that this is called an improper fraction. And that is because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So we need to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number by dividing. And that's because the fraction bar represents division. So let's go ahead and do that. 23 divided by four. The first thing you need to ask yourself is how many times can four go into 23? Well, I know that four times five is 20. And four times six is 24. Well, 24 is greater than 23, so it can only go into 23 five times. So I'm going to write the five there. Now five times four equals 20, write that below. Now we need to subtract. Three minus zero is three. Two minus two is obviously zero. We are left with just three. So we are going to write that as a mixed number. We're going to turn that remainder into a mixed number of five and three fourths. So our option is the third one here, of five and three fourths. Problem four, which of the following equations can be used to represent image C? So right off the bat, I'm going to ignore A and B and save myself time on this test by just looking at what it said to. All right, in C, my quick observation is that there are one, 
two, three, four different groups of stars. And then within each group, there are one, two, three stars. So I have four and a three. Let's go ahead and look at the answer choices they give us. So 16 minus 4 equals 12. Sure, that is true, but there are not even 16 stars in this image here. So I'm going to cross it out because I know that 4 times 3 equals 12. There are 12 stars in the image. The next one, 6 times 2 equals 12. Sure, that is true, but these are not grouped that way. There are no groups of 6 and no groups of 2, so that would not be the best option. The next one, 10 plus 2 equals 12. Yes, but that is also not how the stars are grouped in image C. So that leaves us with the last answer, answer choice of 12 divided by 4 equals 3. And we do know that that is true, and it works with what our observations are, that the stars are grouped in 4s of 3 each. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, then check out our other videos and also make your way over to study.com to check out our Praxis test prep courses. As a study.com member, you'll get full access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, plus targeted instruction for any topics that you are still struggling with, as well as test strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful. And then let us know down below in the comments if there are any specific questions or topics that you want us to cover. And we wish you good luck on your upcoming test. Happy studying.